Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel again. In today's video, we are going to have a quick overview about Ubuntu Budget 2004. Let's get started. So let's have a look first at the Ubuntu Budget website. Let me pull this up. And there it is. You can go to ubuntubudget.org. And you can read through the website here. There's a lot of info about Ubuntu Budgie. It is a community-based distro which is based on Ubuntu with the Budgie desktop environment. So let me scroll up here and let's go and download our ISO image. So we'll go to downloads here. And you can see here we have several versions. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to download Ubuntu Budgie 2004, which is still a pre-beta and it's meant only for testing. But we do have some other stable releases like Ubuntu Budgie 1910 or also Ubuntu Budgie 1804 based on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. So let's go to download our ISO here. I'll burn it on a USB stick, put up my machine from there and I'll meet you on the bootloader in a second. So there you go. I put it up now from the ISO and we are presented here with a list of choices. And let's go ahead and hit the first one. Try Ubuntu Budgie without installing. And there is a file system check here at boot. It's going to take a second to do that. There you go. And there you go. We are now in the live ISO environment. I'm not going to adjust the desktop setting right now. I'll do this when I install the system. So let's go ahead and double click the installer here. And I'll select English for language and click continue. I'll select here my keyboard and then click continue. Now we can choose our installation. So I will choose here the normal installation and I'll also include third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. I definitely recommend you to install this if you have especially an NVIDIA card. And then I'll click continue. Now we can choose the installation type. Erase the disk and install Ubuntu Budgie or something else. We have also some advanced features here like LVM and the ZFS file system. But I'm going to choose none right now and click OK and then click install now. Now it's going to show us what partitions it's going to create on my disk here, so that's fine, and I'll click continue. Now I can select my region here, it has been detected automatically, so I can click continue. And now I can create a new user, so I'll type in here my full name. And select my computer name, I'll call this Ubuntu B. And my username is fine, and I'll pick my password, and retype it. And require my password to log in, that's good, so I'll click continue. And now we just basically wait until the system is installed, so I'll be back when it's done. So the installation is now complete and we can reboot the machine, so I'll click restart now. And I'll press enter here to remove the ice in the system. So now it's going to take a moment to go to the login screen. And there you go, we are now on the login screen, so I'll enter my password here. And we are now on the budget desktop, so let me now adjust the screen resolution. I'll pull up the settings here and go to display and bump this up and scale to 200% and click apply and keep this configuration. I'll have to log out and log in again for the changes to take fully effect. So let me do this very quickly. Enter my password here. And there you go, we are now into Ubuntu budget desktop. So probably many of you know already that the budget desktop was developed by Solus which offers his own distribution, but the Budgie desktop environment has been exported also to other distros, and Ubuntu Budgie is one of them. So let's have a quick look here on how the desktop environment is laid out. We have our apps menu here on the top left corner. Now new in Ubuntu Budgie 2004 is the option to have apps laid out here in a grid like this, or we have also the traditional way by category by clicking this button here. We have also here in the middle the time where we can set also calendar settings. And on the right side here, we have our taskbar icons, like for example, our notes. We have also the places menu where we can go through our computer folders. We have our notification bell, our network status, our volume control, and also our power menu here and our Raven panel. The Raven panel is unique to the Budgie desktop in which you can see the applets that you install in Budgie as well as notifications. As you can see also here, we got already some updates in the background. So the software updater here is based on Ubuntu 24. For now, I'm just going to say remind me later. Here on the bottom, we have also the dock with several applications. If we right click on the desktop and click on desktop settings, we can adjust here the budget desktop settings. So for example, we have several tabs here on the left side with style, desktop, and so on. Under style, we can change, for example, the look and feel of the widgets. 
on the icons, the cursor, and the notification position, and we can also switch on the dark theme here. Same goes for the desktop. We have several options we can turn on here, and we can also change the look and feel of the fonts, and also of the Raven panel here with several options, and also the behavior of the window. We have also the option here to change the behavior and the look and feel of the top panel in this case by adding more applets. So if we click, for example, here the plus symbol, we can add here some more applets that are already installed in the system. I'll click cancel now. And we can also adjust the settings of the top panel. Now, what's new in the release of Ubuntu Budget 2004 is that you can change not only the look and feel, but also the layout of the panels. So I'll go here to the programs menu and type in budgie and then select budgie themes and layouts and let me go full screen here so that you can see better so you can see here on the top we have two tabs we have switch appearance which was already present in ubuntu budgie 1910 but we have a new tab here called desktop layout so the switch appearance tab you can basically switch the theme of your distribution so for example if you want to have something more flat like you could choose for example this material design so you can click install once it's installed, you can click Apply Makeover, and you can see it changes completely the layout of the system. It changes the colors, the icons. It's a full theme. Let me go back here to the themes and layout, and I'll go back to the art design here. And now let's switch over to the desktop layout, and here we have several interesting choices. So we have, for example, the Ubuntu Budgie, which is the one applied now. We have also the classic version of Ubuntu Budgie, but we have also some new options here, like for example, Redmond, which is going to give you the layout of the Windows 10 operating system. We have also traditional budgie, and if we click this, and let me minimize the window here, what we have here is the traditional budgie look we have from the Solus Linux distribution, which is also very elegant. We have always here our programs menu, and the top panel is on the bottom with the taskbar icons on the right side. So let's go back to the layouts theme here. If you choose, for example, something like Cupertino, you will have something more similar to Mac OS, in that also the bottoms for the windows are on the left side here, and you have the menus on the top left plus the dock on the bottom. So let's me go back one more time to the layout here, and I'll select again traditional budget, and close this up. Now let's change the icons of the team, so I go to desktop settings here, and for icons, I select this time Papyrus Dark. You can see we have also the new icons down here. And this is a quick overview of the desktop, and it changes the icons also in the programs list here. So Ubuntu Budget comes also with LibreOffice. Let's have a look at the version. And let's click OK here. You notice immediately here the menus on top are not available. And that's because we have an applet called Global Access included in the distro, but is not active yet. So for those of you who want to try Ubuntu Budgie but don't like this behavior, you can go down to the Programs menu here and choose Budgie Applets. And then scroll down until you find the Global Menu Applet and click Remove. There you go. Now we need to close the windows here and also LibreOffice. And we need also to log out one time, so I'll click the Log Out button here. And enter my password. And we are back in. Now, if we click LibreOffice again, we'll have our menu here up and running. So let's check the version of LibreOffice. And this is version 6422. This is the latest version. So let's close this up and let's have a look at the terminal. Let's pull up a terminal here, which is called Tilix in Ubuntu Budgie. And let me go here full screen. What is nice about this terminal is that you can split it in several ways. You can split it on the bottom, for example, by clicking on the plus here so that you can work on two terminals, or you can also click on the plus button here, which splits the terminal in two on the right side. So right now I could work with three different terminals here. So it's a very nice terminal to work with and it's very well organized. So let's check for updates and type in sudo apt-get update. Let's remember this is a Ubuntu 2004 based distribution, so it used the apt package manager and it enter. Enter our sudo password and the repositories are now updated. And we can check now for upgrades by replacing here update with upgrade and hit enter. And we can upgrade now our packages by hitting enter. 
Of course, we can check also for updates with the software updater, which popped up before. So if you look for updater here, this is the same software updater which comes with Ubuntu LTS. We have also our software sources where we can define our repositories here. And again, this is the same which ships with Ubuntu as well. And let me go again to the updater here. And we have also Live Patch and the Snap Store. The Snap Store is basically replacing the software store which came in Ubuntu. And this is, of course, again, the same as in Ubuntu 24 LTS. So let me close here the terminals. So this is a quick overview of Ubuntu Budgie 2004. It's still a beta, but I find it's a nice blend between Ubuntu and the Budgie desktop environment. And so there you go, this is Ubuntu Budgie 2004. It's still under testing, but I really find it nice to work with. And the desktop environment, it's really enjoyable. Give it a try if you like it and let me know what you think about it. I hope you liked the video guys. If you did, please hit the like button below and subs to the channel if you haven't already. Subs really helps us out guys. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.